<sighs> you know, somehow this is not considered racist whatsoever. And somehow this is seen as pr- progress and not regress. But any logical person with a freaking brain can look at this and say, you know what? This isn't progress. This is regress. Brown University barred white and Asian students from their new class. You might say, Derek, I've seen this a lot, though. This isn't news. This isn't breaking. It's continuing to happen. In May, the Ivy League school in Providence, Rhode Island, Brown University, began offering a teacher training class on mindfulness stress-based reduction, which is great. It's reducing your stress in moments of when you're starting to get super, have a lot of anxiety in your life and retrains your mind and teaches your mind to relax and Look at the other side of life and and slow down, which is great. And this kind of class can be used for anyone. But no, this university sees this because only black people and people of color are the people that deal with stress in this country because of what the country, a systemic issue. But students were only permitted to enroll if they identified as black, indigenous, or Latino. Right. So classes only offered to certain races. This is progress. An anonymous brown student attempted to enroll in the class but was I was denied because they did not identify as a BIPOC. The student pushed back and raised an alarm, filing a complaint to the Foundation Against Tolerance and Racism. Fair. The student said the teachers of this particular class were also BIPOC, which is biracial people of color. Acknowledging Fair's letter saying the university intends to respond as soon as possible. We're doing everything we can. We're checking into it. Since the complaint, Brown has scrapped the decision only to allow students of color to take the class, and the school will now permit any student to enroll in the course, which picks up in August. Thank God. So it takes somebody actually complaining about it for this to come across. So as always, with the far left and progressives, they always put, they always show you what they want to do, and if there's backlash, they'll pull back, and then they'll slowly creep back up. That's just part of the game. But this isn't progress. This is regress. But this isn't out of the... No- ordinary this isn't extremely crazy or insane you might push back and say Derek this is this is insane this I can't believe this even happened this should go away this is happening more and more and I'm seeing this in some of my circles of some of the liberal circles of like this is a good thing we need to have more safe spaces for people of color because that's a good thing that they have a secret safe place to go and any logical person like myself will see that and say That sounds incredibly racist. You're not allowing people like myself, a white male, to to join a group because of my skin color. Not based on my story, not based on how I grew up, not based, like, you're segregating solely based on skin color. People think this is progress. This is the kind of culture war we're fighting. This is the kind of people we're up against. People see this as a good thing, and it's being celebrated in universities. You should seriously think twice before sending your kids to any university, for one, especially sending your money, or and especially taking anybody from these universities' academic papers seriously when stuff like this is celebrated. It should make you think twice about sending your kid to Ivy League institutions. <sighs> but this is a culture we're fighting. If you see more stuff like this, keep me posted. Let me in the loop. Email me at DerekOsheShow.com. I hope you guys have a great day. More videos coming. I freaking love you guys. This is insane. This is literally insane. But this is what we're fighting up against, you know? Hey, can't let these white people in here. Sick!